okay today we shall be developing we shall be developing a multi coli collinear collinearity problem right that means today we shall be developing a developing a multi collinearity problem in the in the regression model and later we shall later we shall solve this multi collinearity problem from the affected regression model so that is our plan our plan is to remove the multi collinearity problem in the regression model so that is our plan and the first thing is that what does mean by multi collinearity what is multi collinearity what is it so this problem arises when the independent variables are highly correlated when the independent variables variables sorry when the independent variables sorry when the independent uh, I just take it up okay when the independent variables are highly correlated right then this then this problem of multi collinearity is arised right and that is not desirable in the model okay so the problem is that when there is a multi collinearity then what happens so when there is a multi collinearity problem in the regression model then it makes the standard error high as a result sorry so uh, sorry so the thing is that so the thing is that when there is a multi collinearity problem in the regression model it makes the standard error high right as a result as a result so uh, I'm just doing it okay so as a result as a result uh, mm, as a result the t value the t statistics or t value t statistics or t value become small right and as a result as a result a, as a result not as application as a result as a result that particular variable become insignificant insignificant right so that is the problem with the multi collinearity i am saying again so I'm saying again, when a particular model is affected by multi collinearity, then 
standard error goes up standard error of that estimated variable goes up standard error of that estimated variable goes up as a result t value goes down and when the t value goes down then that particular variable uh, cannot be significant but actually that variable is significant but due to the problem of multi collinearity that variable has become insignificant but actually that variable is significant but because of the problem of multi collinearity that variable has become insignificant so today our task uh, actually to identify that the problem of multi collinearity and our task is to remove that multi collinearity that we shall be doing now okay okay suppose i am giving an example what is called t statistics t statistics means actually it means actually uh, the estimated coefficient divided by standard error right so that is the formula to estimate t statistics right so and normally if the t statistics is more than 2 that particular variable becomes significant i said normally more than 2 if the t statistics is more than 2 then that particular variable becomes significant but what happens when a a regression model is suffering from multi collinearity then it makes the standard error high right so I'm saying again, when a estimated model is suffering from from multi collinearity, then it makes the standard error high. As a result, t statistics goes down. As a result, that particular variable become insignificant but actually that variable is not insignificant it has become insignificant because of multi collinearity okay so today uh, we shall be checking how to remove that multi collinear nearity from the regression model okay the question is that what are the symptoms of multi collinearity okay what are the symptom number one symptom is number one symptoms is the r square r square value r square value of the regression model is high but none none of the none of the independent 
variables or very few independent in the independent variables are significant okay so meaning that when r square value of the regression model is high but none of the independent variables or very few independent variables are significant then we suspect then we suspect that that the particular regression model is suffering from multi collinearity as a result only few variables have become significant so now today our task is to remove that multi collinearity from the regression model okay that uh, we shall be doing now we shall be remove remove that multi collinearity problem okay okay then first uh, we see our data right we have some data here you can see from here so here we have chosen some data x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and x7 and y is the dependent variables right and x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 and x7 are independent variables so also uh, also uh, if i click data view you can see all data from here the real data you can see from here uh, that is x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and y and y is the dependent variable and x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 are independent variable and here my sample size is 10 just only 10 uh, 10 sample size is all the 10 now now uh, i shall be running this model and check whether there is a problem of multi collinearity or not that i shall be doing now okay okay so the question is that uh, okay uh, so uh, so i go to um, i go to analyze right and then check i check this one reg regression then i go to linear right so meaning that our model is a linear model so i click here and here here suppose i put y is the dependent variable the meaning okay i'm taking all back i'm sorry i'm taking all back uh, sorry it is uh, already there so i take it back right so here what i do i take y as a dependent variable and the rest I take as a independent variable so seven independent variable and now I shall be checking whether this model has a multi collinearity problem or not 